Patients with ADHD are often low in omega-3s, and that deficiency can show up as worse focus, more mood swings, and higher inflammation. Your brain is made mostly of fat, and the type of fat you feed it literally changes how well it works. Omega-3s from high-quality fish oil are one of the main structural fats in the brain. They're built into the outer membrane of your neurons and help keep those membranes fluid and flexible so that signals can fire smoothly. They're also very anti-inflammatory and many patients with ADHD have higher levels of inflammation both in the body and in the brain. So when omega-3s are low, you often see a combination of more inflammation and less efficient signaling between brain cells. That can look like brain fog, trouble concentrating, irritability, and slower recovery from stress. But here's where a lot of people go wrong with fish oil. First, the quality. Cheap fish oils are more likely to be oxidized, essentially rancid, and may contain contaminants. Instead, of calming inflammation, they can actually add more oxidative stress, which is the opposite of what we want for the ADHD brain. You want a high quality product that's purified, third party tested, and clearly lists its EPA and DHA content. Second, the dose. Most people are taking far too little to be therapeutic. One tiny capsule with a small amount of EPA and DHA usually isn't enough to make a meaningful difference. In many of the studies on mood and attention, the total daily dose of EPA and DHA is much higher than what most over-the-counter products provide. So if you're using fish oil to support ADHD, be intentional about three things. Number one is the quality of the oil. Number two is the actual EPA and DHA dose. And number three is taking it consistently over time. It's not a magic fix, but when it's done properly, omega-3 fish oil is one of the most well-supported tools we have for helping the ADHD brain function at a higher level.